Look at that, Captain. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I went to Home Depot. I got some things that I wanted to get. I got a piece of Lexan for those doors, but I forgot something. I got screws. I've got nuts. I've got my magnets. And I got my hinge. What do you think I forgot? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm not gonna tell you till the end of the video. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna try to cut this Lexan. I made a mark here where I need to cut. So we're gonna chop that off with the old Dewalt. So you can watch and see what you think. Ah, uh, terrible. It's a beautiful day out, so I opened the trailer up there and out too. Hot dick. There's one. There's two. What do you think of that? Leave a comment down below. Just remember, when you're cutting Lexan, you can use a jigsaw you can. When you're cutting Plexi, might not work so good. So you know where I want this for is in here. So what we gotta do now is we gotta determine how much more we need off of it, which is quite a bit actually. More than I would have thought. Oh well, what do you do? Fire that thing up. Hey. I'm having a hell of a time talking today. What do you say? Now we don't want to take off too much because if we take off too much, it should be cocked over. And I can't see nothing because I got shit all in my eyeballs. We're getting there, Jim. Take off a little bit more maybe, eh? Not much, just a little. I'd rather make it tight than loose. Okay, so we got this piece of Lexan to fit pretty good. The only thing that we're gonna have to change is the hinge probably is gonna have to be, we'll probably have to take off some more for the hinge. But as it sits right now, that's a pretty nice friggin' fit right there. Look at that. So I'll mount the hinge down here so it folds forward like that to put stuff in and then tips back up. That's what I'm thinking. Of course, why wouldn't I do that? So we're making it pretty good here. I had to grind this edge down so it's on an angle, so it'll open. And then I had to cut this back. So what I'm gonna do with this piece, I'm gonna trace it on the other one, and then we gotta put a piece of blue vinyl on this. So it looks decent. We need to also mount this on the plexiglass as well, and mount the other piece on the cart. So when I push it up, it closes and stays closed with a little magnet action. So it comes with two screws, good, and a screw for this. So we gotta drill this through here too, and we might as well do that now, and that way I can mount it, because I gotta cut this end off before I put the Lexan on there, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Probably not. Kinda in a concentrated mood today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this, because you don't have to pre-drill this, this is Lexan. It's unbreakable. So, be careful. That's a great bit I was using there. That screw's just gone. Like I mean, gone. As in, we'll never find it. Gone. So f that one. I got better screws than that anyway, which I just thought of. So that's a good thing. See, it did that on purpose. Because if I didn't do that, I would have it over. And then I would have thought after. I got screws for that. I hate these drawers. You never find all in them. Leave your comments down below if you agree with me. We've got a shitload of little screws here that are just perfect for this job. And it's going to take me an hour to find them. Oh, God. To be continued. We found them. I did. So we'll put this back on here and we'll try again. Okay, so now that we're through, we'll grind that back down and we'll cut this off so it's not so long. So how we're going to do that is we need about that much. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, there's one. There we go. Now all we gotta do is shave that down. See how we did that? I don't, I know there's scratches, I don't care. We got that on there, so now we go get some vinyl and we'll final that. We just wanna get a piece of vinyl that's the same, almost the same size, and we're gonna cut her. So right about there, Jim. You wanna give her a white job? Perfect. We wanna start pulling the peelage. Have you guessed what I forgot to buy yet? It's coming. It'll come to you. Didn't come to me until I got home. Oh, we're off to a good start here. Not at all. Making this look like an awkward son of a bitch, aren't I? Yeah, I am. That's what I do. Still looks like shit. 
Might have to do her with water. Let's do that. This is the only problem with using a colored vinyl is you can see every little doodad in it. Soak the hell out of it and we'll put her down and then we'll try putting the vinyl on and we'll squeegee her out. That way you can work out every little bubble. Much better. Yep, that pretty much turned out perfect. I was getting cocky and I said, I don't need water. Look at the difference. All right, so there's one done. We'll put that little sun, we'll let her dry and then we'll trim the edges back. We'll put it right there. She'll dry nice and fast. Then it'll shrink it too. So let's work on the other one and get it to fit. Well, there's one side vinyl and it looks pretty damn good. Friggin' right it does. Check that out, Captain. So now we can do is mount the hinge and Bob's your uncle. But there you go. Vinyl done. There we go. There's one side mounted. I had to move it up a little bit right here, but she's in. So it folds down and it goes up. But the only thing is those magnets, absolute garbage. So you might have to get a powerful magnet for that one, but I forgot a handle if you're wondering what I forgot. That looks pretty decent. So let's move on to the next side and we'll get it done. Oh, brother. Another mother. Oops. These magnets suck. They really do. <sighs> Come on. Give me them. Holy frick. I wonder why that one holds so much better than that one. That one barely holds. This one won't let go. Perfect. There you go. Look at that. Hers, Captain. His, Captain. See what I mean? This one barely holds. And that one holds good. It does make sense. That's decent. So now that that's done, the only thing left to do is put blue lights in there so this glows blue at night. We should be able to put blue lights and get some handles, of course. We gotta get some handles for it so we can open the damn thing. Now you're gonna put blue lights right back in here on both sides. So at night, when you flick on the switch of those lights, those lights will come on. And then the whole dash will glow blue. I think we're gonna be able to get right there. There it is. Perfect. Ooh, hey. Ooh. There we go. Look at that, the grump fits perfectly. Shove that in here. There we go. Oh, those lights are nice. See that? Decent. It's in there, Captain. Look at that. And that one's in there too. So we get the lights in, now let's hook them up. So I'm doing some wiring right now. And I've hit my head on this about 20 times and I've hit my head on that roof about three times. My mood is going downhill really quickly here. I gotta extend these wires for these blue lights because they're not quite long enough, they aren't. Which doesn't surprise me because that's, you know, my hands are only so big. And I don't know who would sell 12 volt lights. They're 12 volt, remember. And they made the black the positive. This isn't house wiring. This is DC, not AC. Black's supposed to be ground. So whatever company keeps doing that, you guys are just cocked right over. What's really going on? I did it again. See, I did it backwards. Natural reaction. Orange is positive on this trade. And I keep going backwards every damn time. Must be for all your truck drivers out there. Cause these are truck driver lights. So you guys must go by house wiring in your truck, do you? Tell me, inquiring minds wanna know. If you do, smarten up. Captain, just saying. There we go. Heat shrink a dink. Have to show you tonight what it looks like with the lights on. Leave a comment down below if you want to see that. Oh, wait a minute. Don't leave a comment down below because you're going to see that anyway. Got to hurry and get this done so I can take the daughter for a ride. She's bugging me. Wants to go for a rip. She does. She's bored. She's always fucking bored. Oh, well, there we go. Check that out. Got them friggin' decent. So we got lights in the dash. Both sides working. As you can see in there. Look. There you go. See it? I'm going to try to get that down. But this should all glow blue at night. I'm not sure if we're going to have to give it another coat of blue to darken it down we're gonna find out i do want to put a little piece of something over that though because that's pretty damn bright other than that this is kind of just a piece together video i just wanted to show you how i did what i did and where i did it and that's how we roll so hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully i got a video for you don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification i love you all and until next time you know what to do for now oh, there you go check that out hers Yes. Freaking right. So that's all the blue lights I got on it so far. One in the front, one in the back. One under the dash, I just gotta put two in the back. Got them. But there you go. Told you I'd show it to you at night. So that's pretty decent.